It's me, Mr. Misha K, and I am here outside of the BET Awards with one of the pioneers of BET, in my mind anyways, uh, as far as gospel music. In your mind, yes. Say that well, that's a fact. It, well, it's a fact. <laughs> it's definitely a fact. I'm here with Mr. Bobby Jones. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How did you enjoy the awards? I thought it was wonderful. I love the set design mm -hmm. and uh, the talent that was on the program, especially the gospel segment. It so, wasn't a gospel segment, but Yolanda came out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim LeVan won tonight the Gospel Award, and I know everyone was absolutely excited about that. Sure. So how do you feel about the gospel segment, although it didn't happen, how do you feel about gospel music right now? Well, I think it could be a part of whatever's happening. I don't know why we keep holding off on it, but uh, right now I guess it's viewed as probably not viable enough to come in the midst of the R&B and hip-hop music. Uh, when a network like BET has all genres of music represented, I just think gospel should be. But in God's own time, it will be. We don't have that to worry about. It's his doing. Thank you very much. All right. All right. And this has been Jamisha Kay for Coastline Magazine, and we are out.